Bethesda has found itself in a spot of bother thanks to some plagiarism allegations that have been flung its way. Bethesda put out an Elder Scrolls themed tabletop RPG called Elsewhere, but it turns out that that adventure appears to be plagiarised, ripped off wholesale from a Dungeons and Dragons adventure called The Black Road, which was published by Wizards of the Coast in 2016. This isn't one of those plagiarism stories where there's that tiny hint of doubt in your mind where you think to yourself, maybe be just maybe this is a coincidence. We're not just talking similarities in the text here, we are talking about identical text with some words changed. Fucking atrociously changed, I might add. I've got to agree with Kyle Orland over at Ars Technica where he says that the changes made are sloppy. Sloppy is the word. Pig slop sloppy. And when I say words, I don't mean they've rewritten sentences, I mean they've replaced a few words here and there. The shamelessness is off the charts. Let's look at the introduction to the Black Road here, I'll read a bit for you. There's nothing like the desert to make people feel small and insignificant. In every direction, huge dunes roll across the landscape, and an even bigger sky looms above. The oasis of Werthel is a motley collection of sun-bleached tents in the vast Anorok Desert. And then elsewhere's introduction. Nothing beats the desert to make people feel small and unimportant. In every direction, dunes roll across the landscape and an even larger empty air skies above it. Oh, apparently that is how that was written. The oasis on the border between Cyrodiil and Elsewhere is a colourful collection of sun-drenched tents in the vast desert of Elsewhere. That's just the first paragraph of the introduction. The second paragraph is more of the same. And it goes on like this. There are pages and pages of comparisons here. It's a wholesale ripoff. This comparison has been doing the rounds, and it's because it shows just how much has been copied right down to the minute details. Uh, the caravan in the Black Road Adventure has four wagons pulled by two foul tempered camels. In, in the Elder Scrolls Adventure, it's four carts, each pulled by two horses. Uh, one wagon carries the caravan's food in the Black Road. In the Elder Scrolls one, one cart carries all food. One cart carries all water and medicine, that's the same for both. One, I shouldn't actually read them one after the other, I should do what I just did there, otherwise it's going to get confusing. Basically, in both of them, one wagon carries food, one wagon carries water and medicine, one has weapons, and one has a statue. Yes, both adventures have one cart slash wagon dedicated to carrying the statue. But that's not all! Both caravans travel in two shifts. Amazing that they both have the same scheduler. And even though a lot of names have been replaced to resemble Elder Scrolls lore, some names have just remained the same. There's a Chandra Stoll in the Black Road campaign, and there's a Chandra Stoll in the Elder Scrolls adventure. Oh, but they are completely different, you see, because the Chandra Stoll in Dungeons & Dragons is a priestess in Parnast, whereas the Chandra Stoll in the Elder Scrolls is a priest, uh, not a priestess, so different, and their Chandra Stoll is from Rimen, so you know it is different. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is amazing. I'll do another read through, why not? Here is the Black Road. Ahead of you, a few days later, you see a black spot of movement on the horizon. As you travel, it gets larger and larger. His arm looks worried. Another caravan, likely Zents. Normally I'd suggest that we camp with them. Safety in numbers, what do you think? And then on to the Elder Scrolls. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, bum. A few days later, you... I should really to a different voice for that. A few days later, you see a black spot of movement on the horizon. As the caravan continues to travel, the spot becomes larger and larger. Karim frowns and sounds worried. Another caravan. Normally I would recommend that we travel together, the more the better, but it seems to me they are skooma dealers, as far as my weary eyes can see. What do you think? Well, what do you think, folks? Plagiarism? Or not plagiarism, take part in our phone-in poll now to make your voice heard. Many angry D&D fans pointed out the similarities, and one of the people who pointed out the similarities was Paige Leitman, who co-wrote the D&D adventure that the Elder Scrolls adventure ripped off. She pointed out a massive number of similarities between the adventure she was involved in and the adventure Bethesda put out there, adding, Hey, the Elder Scrolls Online, would you please let your legal team know this is really not cool. A Bethesda spokesperson has said, 
We're digging in deeper to figure out what happened, but in the meantime, we've pulled the adventure based on what has been brought to light. In a now-removed Facebook post, Bethesda said that the adventure, the Elsewhere adventure, came from Bethesda Netherlands. Though, of course, we now know it came from Bethesda Netherlands by way of Wizards of the Coast. This is one of the stupidest forms of plagiarism I've seen in a while, one of the most obvious, most easily proven cases of plagiarism out there. Usually, sometimes even with written work, which is often more obviously plagiarised, even with some written work, you can change enough of it to sow that aforementioned seed of doubt in people's minds. The possibility, however remote, that it could all be a coincidence. Nine times out of ten, Plagiarism is a moronic practice practiced by morons. Morons who aren't clever enough to cover their tracks, so they always get found out. I mean, if they were clever enough to mask their behaviour, they'd be clever enough to write something fucking original. But even among a group of imbeciles that includes Philip Bloody Mucin, the turd responsible for this cut and shut job of an RPG is a premium idiots. They didn't even try. Now, normally, I don't hold publishers, companies, outlets, whatever, truly responsible for the plagiarism. That falls on the individual plagiarist. Normally, the company doesn't know that the, the, the item was plagiarised. It can be hard to prove, it can be hard to spot sometimes, especially if you rip something off from someone who isn't as well known. Uh, that's something Philip Mucin loved to do uh, when he plagiarised a lot of game reviews. He took things from a lot of YouTubers who weren't really known at all, under the impression that that would allow him to get away with what he was doing, and it did work for a while. Not forever, thank God. But I don't blame IGN for publishing the work. You, it doesn't occur to you to go scouring every single YouTube channel finding reviews to see if something got ripped off. That's impractical. But this wasn't some homebrew D&D adventure. This wasn't someone live streaming their own original campaign on Twitch or something. This was a complete fucking ripoff of a Wizards of the Coast published D&D adventure. And so much of the original text has been ripped off, you could copy paste vast chunks of the Elder Scrolls adventure into Google and find that it's been stolen, that it's been taken from a D&D adventure. And maybe I'm being a bit overly harsh on Bethesda in this case, but the lawyers looking after the Elder Scrolls intellectual property are very good at finding things that might infringe on the Elder Scrolls license, so maybe they should be better equipped to be on top of this sort of thing. In any case, this is an embarrassment for Bethesda, and it really has not been that company's year. Ever since Fallout 76 came out, it's just been a conga line of humiliation for the company. With Rage 2 on the horizon, the company's fortunes may turn around, and it may get back into people's good grace, is. But, I mean, let's be honest here, id as a developer is the one entity Bethesda has that it can consistently crow about. id Software is the company making all of the creative, critically acclaimed, community-pleasing, good-looking, exciting shit right now, while Bethesda is dropping the ball on its own home-baked properties. At this point, it really should just let id Software handle Doom, Wolfenstein and Rage. In fact, they should probably just give id the Elder Scrolls and Fallout while we're at it. I think I actually would like to see an id Software take on Fallout. It cannot be any worse than Fallout 76. But anyway, this was a little tale about Bethesda being embarrassed because something incompetent happened on their watch. What the fuck is new?